Yo guys, it's Sarah. You already know that today I'm going to be predicting my top 10 games for 2023. I had previously mentioned that I didn't want to make another list of games that I'm anticipating for next year, and I still stand by that. However, I did have such a good time looking back at my anticipated games for 2022 that I felt like I wanted to do something similar but tweak the format a bit, so that's what we're doing today. Not only is this going to be talking about some of the games I'm excited for for next year, but it's also going to be me predicting which ones are actually going to come out as well as predicting the order of how much I'm going to enjoy them. And at the end of 2023, we'll take a look back and see how this compares to what actually turns out to be my favorite games of 2023. Any games that aren't on this list, I probably don't think are going to come out during 2023, or I don't think I will get around to playing them. However, if you need more clarification as to why a game is not on this list, go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below and I will answer why a certain game is not on this list. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, so that way you're around next year when I revisit this list. Hopefully everything is explained fully, so without further ado, let's get on to the list. Starting the list off at number 10, we're going to talk about Master Detective Archives Rain Code. This game is being brought to you by the same people that made the Danganronpa franchise, which clearly I'm a huge fan of, and it was introduced in a Nintendo Direct in September. Uh, there was also a, another trailer that was uh, put up on, the, on Nintendo's official YouTube channel. Uh, about a week ago so it's definitely very actively still being advertised and it has a spring 2023 release date so that makes me very confident that it will come out which checks off the first box it seems like you are going to be taking the role of a detective and you do need to be solving mysteries and it seems like it's going to have a very interesting gameplay style the main reason it isn't higher is because this absolutely has a chance to be a frustrating experience uh depending on how hard everything is to figure out and solve uh puzzles in video games can be hit or miss for me and also the story, I don't know if it's going to land or not. I have seen some other things that have been made by the creator of Danganronpa, and they are not always amazing, so it depends on if the story and characters really land. I'm thinking that it will, but there is a slight chance that it doesn't, so that's why I feel safe putting it at number 10. I don't think it's going to be one of my favorites, but I do think that I am going to really enjoy it, and I do plan on doing a playthrough of it, so uh, I'm looking forward to that, and hopefully you all are as well. At number 9, I'm predicting that Starfield is going to take up this slot. Starfield is a game that is highly anticipated by many, and while I've never been the biggest fan of games like Skyrim uh, and Fallout, which this game is being made by the same people as far as I understand, I do still think that this game looks like it could be an incredible experience. From everything I've seen, it looks like it's going to be really good. My only worry is this seems like it could be the next candidate to have a really terrible launch. Uh, I could see it launching with a whole bunch of issues, but I could also see it the opposite end of the spectrum where it launches and it's really clean. A lot of the stuff that showed off looks really clean. Um, there was recently some more news about it about a week ago uh, from the time that I'm recording this. So I am hopeful that this game will come out in 2023, and for me it just remains to be seen if they can really make sure that the fundamental gameplay is still fun while they balance that with the ambitious grand design that they have for the entire world and universe so we'll see how it turns out it could end up higher it could end up lower i have no idea at number eight i'm predicting that atomic heart is going to take up this spot this game is currently set to be released on february 21st and the game's twitter has been very active there's a lot of information and gameplay and visuals that are shown off and essentially all i need to know to sell me on this game is that it looks very heavily inspired by bioshock which is a game that i like a lot but it also looks like it's going to be bringing forth its own unique ideas. I don't know how long the game is going to be or how interesting the story is going to be, but I'm very excited to check it out, and I'll be very surprised if this is not a fun game. Definitely expect to hear me talking about it at some point. At number 7, I'm putting Park Beyond. This is a game that I showcased my excitement for when talking about my most anticipated game for 2022, and it didn't come out, and honestly, I almost had no confidence that this game would even exist or come out in 2023, but the game's Twitter has been very active, and I feel like this is a small enough game that it might be one of those that gets a release date for, like, a week after it's announced. Like, I could absolutely easily see them just tweeting out on, like, January 10th and be like, oh, this game's coming out next week. Uh, so, I, I think that it's going to show up out of nowhere. It's not the type of game that everybody's going to be covering, and I'm not even sure how well it's going to do, but I do think it's going to be really fun, and it's going to be almost a nostalgic experience for me because I haven't played a new theme park simulation type game in a long, long time. Expect a full playthrough of this from me whenever it does come out, and I'm really hoping that it lives up to the hype that I'm building up for it, even if it's just for me and nobody else feels this way. 
At number six, I'm gonna predict that Octopath Traveler 2 is gonna be the game that takes this spot. While I haven't played the first game yet, I have only heard good things, as well as I played Triangle Strategy, which is made by the same people, so I trust in their ability to make a good game. This game is coming out on February 24th currently, but I am probably not going to get around to it till later in the year, because I still need to play through the first game, and I don't think it's a short game at all, and I'm sure the second one is also going to be long. This is a game that could absolutely be in contention for Game of the Year, or it could be a big flop, depending on how the gameplay, story, and characters go, because I don't actually know all that much about it, I'm really just going off of name recognition and knowing what I like and don't like, and uh, expecting it to be a, a contender for one of the, the higher spots for my end of the year list for 2023. At number 5, I'm predicting Star Wars Jedi Survivor to take this spot. This game is currently scheduled to come out March 17th, and hopefully by then I actually have enough time to play through the first game. I actually played a little bit of uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and I did really enjoy it. I just happened to get distracted by other games at the time, and I never really got around to making meaningful progress in that game. But now I have an excuse to play through it fully and then play this, which I think is probably going to be even better. I assume they've improved over the already good mechanics of the game, and I'm expecting this to be a lot of fun. We'll see if I even care about the story, but regardless, this is going to be a fun game to play, and I do think that is going to be contending for a spot around this part of my, my 2023 games list. At number 4, I'm going to put Lies of P. As much as I'm not a fan of the name, this is going to be a Souls-like game with a world that is inspired um, by Pinocchio, which is one of my favorite Disney movies. The visuals of this game look incredible in terms of the atmosphere and the dark sort of take that they're that they're going for. If the gameplay is smooth, this absolutely is a game of the year contender for me, um, but there is a chance that the gameplay isn't as satisfying as it looks like it could be. While there isn't a specific release date, the game's Twitter has been insanely active. They've been showing off so much about it over the last year uh, that I would be very surprised if it doesn't come out in 2023. At number three, I'm going to put Forspoken which is currently coming out January 24th. I know this game has been pushed back so much, but now that they have dropped a playable demo, which I have played, I am now very confident that it will finally come out in 2023. I'm not sure if I'm going to care about the story elements or not, but having played the demo, I know firsthand that the gameplay is fun. Traversing the world is absolutely something that I'm looking forward to doing because it was a lot of fun to do in the demo, and I hope that the combat is satisfying throughout the entire experience, it is going to be a longer game, so the only downside is that there is a chance that the game's combat becomes repetitive and boring by the end. There's a chance that the game could sort of turn into a slog and overstay its welcome, but I'm really holding out hope that that is not the case. While I'm not going to be doing a full playthrough, you will definitely, definitely hear me talking about this in some way, shape, or form after I get a chance to play it. At number two, I'm taking a little bit of a chance, and I'm going to put Marvel Spider-Man 2 here. There hasn't really been any more details about this game since it was announced, but with a current release window of Fall 2023, I am expecting that to change soon, and I'm really hopeful that we start hearing more about it. The first Marvel Spider-Man is a fantastic game that I loved so much, and if they improve it in any way, shape, or form and tell a good story as well, this will absolutely be a contender for Game of the Year, and there's no reason for me to believe that this isn't going to be up there as one of my favorite games of 2023. And at number one, what I'm predicting to be my personal Game of the Year for 2023 is Fire Emblem Engage. That's right, the first game in 2023 that I'm going to play might actually be the best one. I'm a huge Fire Emblem fan of both new and old. I think this game is going back to a little bit more of a classic style. So it's not going to be the same as like Three Houses, which is okay, but I trust the developers to make a fun experience gameplay-wise, and I'm hoping that the characters are also really good, and we'll see how it goes. I think this game is going to be a little overwhelming with a lot of its options in terms of the skills and emblem rings and things that you can do, and you can mix and match between different characters. It's going to be introducing a lot of mechanics that are probably going to take a bit to wrap my head around, but I'm really looking forward to it, and I do think this game is going to be fantastic. The only downside is there's a chance that this doesn't live up to other Fire Emblem titles, and I can see myself going back to playing other Fire Emblem games once I'm done with this, just because I, right now I want to play so much Fire Emblem because I, I just love it so much. And maybe I'm hyping this game up too much in my head, and there's a chance that this could absolutely be a disappointment, 
but I think that this is going to be my game of the year, barring something that I didn't expect to come out in 2023 coming out. But there we have it. That's my list. That's me predicting what I think is going to be my top 10 games for 2023. I'm going to check back in a year and see how I did. And uh, yeah, let me know some of the games that you're excited for that are coming out. And let me know if you think that I missed something. Again, if there is a game that, that isn't on this list that you think should be, tell me about it and I'll tell you why I didn't make my list. But you are absolutely free to have your own opinions and be excited for any game that you want to be excited for. But that's all I have for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. If so, let me know and I will see you all around. Till then, peace out.